So what we have here are three different websites, each with boilerplate code and I added a style sheet for style CSS which you will find in all three of the websites. And then in the body tag we have a, a couple of divs so as you can see there's a square tag and there's a circle and that's what we have on the website. Uh, this is for glide.html where I will be animating them for them to move uh, from left to right and vice versa on the screen. And uh, then we have uh, animate.js being imported here. Uh, the same goes for input, where instead of um, the boxes, we have uh, an input text. And <clears throat> at the same time, we have stagger, where we have a bit of um, embedded CSS. And uh, here we have a bunch of uh, circle classes, which as you can see over here, all of these are animated in uh, or, or designed in um, the style CSS page and now uh, over here I'll be writing the anime code and um, I'll be explaining it. So now what we have here is an anime object which targets a certain class which in our case is square. Uh, it moves translate x bit uh, what it does is it moves it uh, in the x direction with the given value. Uh, this basically rotates it. Scale changes the size of the object. Duration gives it a duration of how much how long it should take to complete the task. The direction is alternate here which means it will go reverse and normal and keep alternating between those two. Loop basically loops the action. And then we have another uh, anime object but this time the target is circle so one for square one for circle and um, again we have translate x and loop which I already explained. Background basically changes the color of the background. Uh, we have delay which uh, again uh, changes the uh, duration and direction which is reverse so this won't have a normal direction but instead it will be reverse so translate x will basically be a negative value and the end, uh, end position will be its starting position instead so uh, let's save this and uh, check it out side by side so this is basically what it does now that we're done with that uh, let's take a look at input.html and if we look over here like I said, it has a simple uh, input <clears throat> input box and uh, as you can see, I haven't done anything to it. So uh, let's just reload this and again, uh, let me type out the code and I'll be back once I'm done with that. So this one's much shorter and over here as you can see the target we uh, don't really have a dot and that's because our we are using id as the target then we have values so it will uh, go from 1 to 100 and yeah then we have round so this basically rounds the numbers so that we don't have decimal values in in it and then we have duration which is 4000 and easing over here is an effect which um, is there by default in uh, in anime.js and say I comment it out and if I reload it you can see that our values go all the way up to um, 120 and then go back to 100 and we don't really want that so what we do is add easing into it so that it just goes to 100 and then back and that's pretty much what is being done over here and if you can see uh, how it works and finally we have something called stagger in anime.js which I will be showing you uh, over here and let me uh, type the code out and I'll explain it once I'm done
so as you can see here i have two anime dot staggers which i'm using but for now only once one is implemented and as you can see uh anime dot stagger and then the delay time plus from last so it starts from the last one and then it goes to the first one and let me comment this out and then just do a normal delay and as you can see this is how it would loop <clears throat> it all just moves together in one line so let's comment this out now and let's try a uh, translate x for anime stagger let's comment the normal uh, translate x save this and once the page reloads you can see that they all move from uh, the origin uh, the position of the next object so from here the second object moves and then once the second object moves that's the position that the third object takes and moves another um, 200 pixels away from it so or 100 in this case um, so that's how translate x with anime stagger works and that is it for this video thank you for watching and if you enjoyed it make sure you like and subscribe and to keep up with the content follow us on our social media